This session was recorded at the Display Innovation Workshop we held on the 23rd of March 2022 in Birmingham. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Lucas Sutton, CEO at PATW. Um, we're fairly new at uh, Arctic and the passenger information industry. Um, to make it easy, we just pre-recorded our presentation and uh, I will answer all your questions after the, after the video. Display hardware has always been needed. From the very first public transport services, signage and displays have been required. Suppliers have innovated to provide the best up-to-date information that the current technology allows. Current display technology is capable of providing sunlight viewable up-to-date real-time information in multiple languages. Also, rich content or user-defined advertising in multiple sizes using tried and tested technology. At PATW, we understand that public transport plays a major role in the environmental policies of governments. Using public transport has huge environmental advantages over private vehicles. Public transportation use is one of the most effective actions individuals can take to conserve energy. It far exceeds the benefits of other energy saving household activities, such as using energy efficient light bulbs, adjusting thermostats or using energy efficient appliances. By taking a closer look at the bus stop and station infrastructure, we have identified ways in which we can further enhance the green credentials of public transport. Our area of expertise is digital signage, so we started from scratch with a new design. Currently, most public transport and advertising displays are constructed with heavy gauge steel. These use energy inefficient methods of reducing and removing heat. They work at the limit of the internal component's capability, causing frequent component failures, maintenance visits, and considerable energy costs. A traditional high bright 28 inch display consumes 30 watt of power, producing 50 kilograms of carbon per year. We realize there is another way. We believe in a circular economy approach, so all of our products are designed with this as a number one priority. We use infinitely recyclable materials, all locally produced, to reduce shipping impacts. The products themselves are designed to be low or no maintenance, with extended longevity to reduce the lifetime costs for the user, and more importantly, the environment. The internal components are of premium quality and provide greater reliability, reducing the need for costly engineer visits. Many of our products benefit from being low powered and can be powered from renewable sources, such as solar and wind, which we have successfully incorporated into the design and installation. Our most environmentally friendly installations require no mains power connection, reducing the time and complexity of the installation and benefit from no ongoing energy costs. We provide a large range of internal and external display screens for public transport or advertising, all sunlight viewable and IP and IK rated. Lightweight yet robust, these units provide an environmental saving in every aspect of the manufacture and use. This, alongside our forward-thinking shelter infrastructure design, can provide a complete hardware solution that delights our customers. The environmental theme is continued within our new shelter designs using recyclable materials, renewable power, generation methods such as wind and solar. We incorporate green roofs and living walls of plants into the designs, benefiting essential pollinating insects that are in global decline. In most circumstances, blue roof water collection and storage provide maintenance-free watering. All with in-shelter lighting, USB charging points for customer convenience, and of course, passenger information displays, all powered 
by local renewable power. Our mission and aim is to design and produce products that support the circular economy using renewable energy sources benefiting the environment whilst continuing to provide an excellent end user experience. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Um, so at PATW we focus um, on the passenger information uh, industry side more on the environment than on the, on the display itself. So all our displays are made of aluminium, which is not only easy to recycle, never going to rust, but it's light. So we thought about the transportation as well. Every single display from uh, metal work from being manufactured to be, to be recycled as a cost in transport as well. So we're trying to reduce every single cost for the environment. Um, that's why we focus really on the, on the low power TFT displays. We start from, the range starts from the 10 inch displays, going through the, the 12, 19, 28 inch display, finishing off uh, on the 55 and 65, 75 inch display, which we actually don't have it here. You can link uh, the display with the numbers of uh, sensors, like we have here the air quality sensor just um, showing through the light uh, what is the, the, the air quality in the room or in the city centre. You can display the same uh, data on the TFT display as well, just showing the, the, the graph. Um, we focus on the um, bush shelters as well. Uh, we have our own, our own range of the, um, of the shelters uh, where we collect the water and uh, introducing the plants into the shelter. Um, and obviously the shelter are made of aluminium as well. Um, I think that will be it from, from us. If there are any questions, we're happy, happy to help and answer them. For more information on the work of Arctic, please visit our website, rtig.org.uk. Thank you. Thank you.